Hello. Firstly, I'd like to apologise quickly um, just for not posting anything uh, in a while. It's because I've been a bit busy. Um, it's not because I've fallen out of love with the YouTube. It's actually going better than I imagined. Um, I've got, I think, nearly 4,000 subscribers, so I'm really grateful for everyone. Um, also, this video is just touching on Tonic, his journey throughout the whole year. Um, apologies that it is also a month late. We bought Tonic in 2021 in February uh, the 6th. Um, it is now the 5th of April. Also, I kind of messed up. He's not 5 turning 6. He was 4 turning 5. Uh, so that meant, because his birthday is in October. His birthday is, I think, the 28th of October. So he came to us when he was still 4. He had the schooling over the summer. Uh, as a four-year-old, he then, in October, turned five, had the whole season of hunting. He's now still five until October, because that's how birthdays work. Uh, so he's turning six, actually, at the end of the year. So he's still baby, baby, baby. But it doesn't really matter. I don't think I would have really changed anything. I took everything quite slow. But anyway, now that I've got that cleared up, uh, please enjoy the rest of the video. The first uh, clip you'll see is him being unboxed. Um, that's our first time seeing him, like, at all. Um, our reaction was just, just wow, um, what an incredible horse. Um, so yeah, please enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, wow. Hello. The first thing we did after letting him settle in was take him on a hack. This was the second time he'd ever been ridden. Uh, the first time was in an arena back in Ireland. He's, but yeah, the first time I've ever ridden him. Even though at this point of owning him, we good thought boy. he was just going to be a hunter, it's hey, still boy, really it's important to take them over nice. some trotting poles. So we took him to our friend's arena. Good boy. Hey, it's fine. Good boy. Good boy, don't you dare. Good boy, it's just a pole. It's just a pole. Hey, don't, don't go backwards. Don't go backwards or buck me off. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Do. Hey, hey, you've already walked over them. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. Well done. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. It's always important to take them to different locations just so when that ramp comes down they're used to seeing a different place that, and they're not familiar with it. 
So if they get familiar with the place, they're going to go nicely. But if you take them somewhere else, you know, he's back over fighting over poles again. But anyway, this is, I think, the second or third time uh, we've taken him over some trotting poles. So he's still allowed to be a baby. take him to various different cross country setups and he gets braver and braver each time. It's called taking the template to the horse. So we record it down that's two inches back from the scapula. Right. That's the wither one, then you do one two inches back from that, then you do the, the longitudinal one that way to 
get the assess how I'm with his arm, have those dips in the back, and then you do the TAT run, which is at the very last rib there, and then you put them on paper. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you'd be better off with, yeah, yeah so that sits in there. Yeah, strange enough. What? Good luck.
So now that we know he can jump, it's really important to get out and see the hounds. This is called autumn hunting and it's just made for baby horses, uh, just to, so they get used to seeing the hounds. Here's a video of him trail laying for the first time, getting used to something down uh, around his legs. Uh, this is about 6 o'clock in the morning, it's always quite nice to catch them off guard and do something in the morning uh, so they're still a bit sleepy, so they're not fully fresh. His first ever meet, he performed incredibly well, just getting used to seeing that amount of forces in one place. over the first hedge, he does it really bravely, he does it going away from everyone, there you go, everyone else follows, good boy Tonic. Well done Tonic, legend, yeah! There was a jump there. Huh? We don't have overtaken it, boys. Whoops. up there, Tonic. Screaming. 
done. <laughs> if you work hard, you have to rest harder. He loves going out into the field, having a good roll and have a good stretch. Really important to give them time to recover. Now that he's gone out and seen a lot more and he's a hell of a lot more brave, just nice to go back to a little bit of show jumping, keep him on his toes, uh, give him something else to experience. He flew around, barely hesitated at any of the jumps. Uh, the colours threw him off to begin with but he just got used to it, kick him on and he flies. Better than that with your back legs, come on Tonic. there we go a few clips of tonic over the last year um, enjoyed every minute of riding him and he's such an incredible horse to ride just does kick if you kick on give him enough confidence he will do it he'll have a look he'll have a spook but if you're there always supporting him just saying it's fine apps everything's fine he'll good he'll just do it incredible horse uh, plan with him to do a little bit of flat work dressage show jumping uh, all of the above just to make him the best he can be he's a big horse obviously he's got a lot of growing like muscle to develop um just you know getting that hind hind legs uh, a little bit more powerful so he can have a little bit more scope uh for his back end uh at the end of the day he's an irish draft he was bred to be pulling plows um but anyway incredible horse thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and yeah See you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>